another episode of Masonic Curious. As I mentioned earlier, another episode, I am very excited to be back here in Clinton, Massachusetts, in the home of Trinity Lodge. Now, Clinton, Massachusetts is like any other old New England small town. That is, it, it is a, an industrial town. Uh, Clinton is a good size, and uh, as many New England towns, they had Pacific uh, industries that they, they had in town. Clinton here, the main uh, product that they produced was carpeting. And there was still a number of buildings still here in Clinton uh, of the old carpet industry that has been uh, renovated to new use today. But the buildings are still here. Number of buildings, number of different companies. One of the biggest was Bigelow. And Bigelow was a member here of Trinity Lodge. And it is said that some of his carpet from here made it into the White House as well as on the Titanic. Again, this is a story, can't be confirmed, but that's what I was told. But today, I want to bring to you this item here. Now, many of us have seen this item. Uh, it is a Masonic chart, or Master Mason's chart. The chart was actually printed in 1882. Unfortunately, the name of the manufacturer is missing. So, what we presume happens is that a number of these charts were made up, and then sent out to various other regalia companies to be sold, where they, they, they could then insert their own name on it. It does have published by blank manufacturer of society and military goods. Now, in most Masonic lodges, you will find Masonic charts, and they came in a number of different shapes and sizes. They came in colors, they came in black and white, they came in sizes three times the size of this, they came in individuals, they came in with multiple degrees on it. This was at the, the time that they were made, the PowerPoint presentation that we might use today in a Masonic Lodge to maybe tell some of the emblems. This was their PowerPoint presentation of the day. Now what's unusual about this, and you see in one of our past segments of Somerville, Massachusetts, in that in the East he also has two of these charts hanging uh, on both sides of the east. This one here is for the third degree, but what's unusual and which most of them are missing is the wooden case at the top. Now, these came, either you could buy them individually or you could buy them as a set, or you could buy them as a set, and if you could see, by an old regalia company catalog, with the case. Now the case would be hung on the wall as this one here. The top piece is missing. This would have actually been mounted on similar to a uh, window shade rod, which is spring loaded, which then is inserted into holders inside the box. Now hopefully if the picture comes out, we, when <clears throat> this video is posted on Facebook, you will get to see the mounting mechanism uh, or holders that are inside the case. And then this would then roll up with other two, first degree, second degree, third degree. And all you had to do was pull one down for each degree when you gave that lecture. Now, because the box is big, many lodges opted not to use the box or the ca cabinet. Over time, as this has, it has come off the original roller, so a wooden one was put up, so there was no need for the cabinet. Um, when the lodge moved in 1995, 1996, uh, strict search was made in about the several apartments of the temple, which at the time was a big building on High Street. Um, this cabinet, along with some other Masonic artifacts, was found in the attic and had been covered up, been placed up there decades ago, covered with bird crap and dirt and dust and whatnot. Uh, the person who found it knew it automatically since he had already known about the charts that this cabinet went with the charts and it was saved. And today they have the cabinet with the chart mounted inside to give you sort of a representation of what it used to look like uh, in the 1880s when the cabinet was produced. Again, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for watching the videos. 
please check us out on uh, Facebook, Masonic Curators, watch us on YouTube, watch some of the past episodes, and again, our email is MasonicPreservationSociety at gmail.com. Thank you and give us the likes up.